The covalent radius is a term used to describe the size of an atom. On page 7 of the updated chemistry data booklet, it gives you information about each of the elements and its covalent radius. So let's have a little look at the trends across a period. If we use page 7 of our data booklet and we were to identify the covalent radius from lithium to fluorine, what we can see is that the covalent radius decreases. And this is because as we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on outer electrons. This means the electrons are held tighter to the nucleus and therefore the size of the atom decreases. If we look at the electron arrangement diagrams going down a group for lithium to potassium and we select the covalent radius from page 7 of our data booklet, we can see that the trend tells us that the covalent radius or the size of the atom increases. And this is because as we go down, the number of electron shells increase. This means that the nucleus has less of a pull on the outer electrons. This means that the electrons are not held as tightly to the nucleus, which is known as the shielding effect, and therefore the atomic size increases. We also have to compare the size of atoms to ions. So if we look at metal atoms changing to metal ions, and if we take lithium as our first example, using page 7 of the data booklet, we can identify that the size of the atom is 130, and it's got equal numbers of protons and electrons. We know that metal atoms lose electrons to form metal ions, and therefore become positive metal ions. Using page 18 of the data booklet, we can identify the covalent radius of the lithium ion. Now, metal atoms will always lose electrons to form positive metal ions. This means that they have more protons than electrons. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on the outer electrons and the size would decrease. So let's compare the size of atoms to ions for non-metals. Fluorine, if we use page 7 of our data booklet, has the atomic radius of 60. We know that if it's an atom, it has equal numbers of protons and electrons. As it's a non-metal, it wants to gain an electron to achieve stability. So therefore, the ion would be a negative ion and it would have more electrons than protons. We can use page 18 of the data booklet to identify the radius of the fluoride ion. Non-metal atoms gain electrons to form negative non-metal ions. This means that they have more electrons than protons. This means that the nucleus has less of a pull on the electrons because the electrons are stronger and can pull further away from the nucleus and therefore the size of the ion would increase in comparison to the atom. This past paper question is from the higher 2018 written to A. The elements sodium to argon form the third period of the periodic table. Explain the decrease in atom size going across the third period from sodium to argon. As we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on outer electrons. This means the electrons are held tighter to the nucleus. The size of the atom therefore decreases. This one's from the higher 2016, written to A part 1. Explain why covalent radius decreases across the period from sodium to chlorine. As we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on the outer electrons. This means that the electrons are held tighter to the nucleus and therefore the size of the atom decreases. Part 2 to the 2016 question, 
asks us to explain fully why the covalent radius of sodium is larger than the ionic radius of sodium. So if we were to draw the electron arrangement diagram and use the data booklet to select the size of the atom and ion, we can see that the sodium ion has lost an electron. Metal atoms always lose electrons to form positive metal ions. And this means that they have more protons than electrons. This means that the nucleus, where the protons are found, have more of a pull on the outer electrons, and therefore the size would decrease. 